If you want to be trusted and trustworthy, get the plum assignments, avoid micromanagement, one of the most important things you need to do is make sure your colleagues are confident in your competence. Do you have the capability to be successful that they don't have to worry about you and be hovering over you all the time? So how? How do you make people more confident in your competence? There are a few ways. So the first is make sure that you're talking about the things you're doing to invest in your competence. So if you say, oh, I watched an interesting video last week, uh, one of the replays from the, I don't know, World Actuarial Conference, show them that you're listening, reading, sharing a cool article. I saw this in The Economist, really felt like it pertains to our supply chain issues, thought that this one issue in particular was really valuable. Showing that you are paying attention. Another, the second thing you can do, you can connect the dots when your colleague is talking about something in their area, connect the dots between their area and yours. You say, oh, that's so interesting. If you're wrestling with supply chain issues, I need to be thinking about our store layouts for the next you know, quarter because we wanna lay it out in a way that makes any kind of gaps in stock less obvious. Okay, thanks, that's great. When you're seen as someone who connects dots, that's a very strong indicator of of competence. Another way that you can do that if you don't have all the answers is to just ask great questions. People who ask great questions are perceived as competent. And I find asking connection questions or anticipation questions are the best kind of questions. So when one colleague says something and another, okay, so how would that affect that? really do much other than pay attention and ask about connecting two dots. Or if that's the case, what do we see as the next likely step? Those kinds of either connection questions or anticipation questions, those are gonna get you the most brownie points as a smart, competent kind of person. And here's my counterintuitive advice, because I find each of these trust factors has one counterintuitive one. People will perceive you as more competent and they'll be more confident in you if you ask for their help. Not in a like, oh, I have no idea what I'm doing kind of way, but simply in a, I'm gonna approach this doing X, Y, and Z. Now, I'm really interested to know, what am I missing? What else would you add to this? And this comes from the fact that humans, we're pretty fond of our own confidence, or competence. We kind of overstate how awesome we are. So when someone else is smart enough to tap into this font of wisdom that we have, well, they must be a clever fella. Counterintuitive, but another way to make sure people have confidence in your competence is to ask for their insight and their help. Even more fundamental than competence is the idea of connection. So connection is really about whether you're gonna get the benefit of the doubt on your competence or not. I have lots of tips and tricks for how to strengthen your connection with your colleagues in this video. Check it out.